How to use Counter-Strike, Global Offensive Game State Integration Counter-Strike, Global Offensive Game State Integration, GSI, is a feature that allows developers to integrate their applications with the game. With GSI, developers can access real-time information about the game, such as player health, score, and inventory. Here are the steps to use GSI. 1. Enable GSI in CSGO. To enable GSI in CSGO, you need to add the following line to your launch options, GameState underscore integration underscore enable 1. You can do this by right-clicking on CSGO in your Steam library, selecting properties, and clicking on set launch options. Like this. 2. Create a GSI configuration file. You need to create a configuration file that specifies which data you want to receive from the game. You can do this by creating a text file with a .cfg extension and adding the configuration options to it. The configuration options include things like player underscore ID, player underscore name, player underscore health, player underscore location, and so on. Hint, game state. Integration, GSI, in Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, CSGO, can be enabled by adding the following launch options to Steam, GameState underscore integration underscore enable one GameState underscore integration underscore file path underscore to underscore config underscore file Here are some more examples of GSI configurations that can be used in the Steam launch options, 2.1 Basic configuration, this configuration file enables GSI and sends basic information about the game state, such as the round timer and the player's name. 2.2 Advanced configuration, this configuration file enables GSI and sends more detailed information about the game state, including player positions, health, and equipment. 3. Connect to the game, once you have enabled GSI and created a configuration file, you can connect to the game by sending a GET request to the GSI URL. The URL is in the format HTTP slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 slash. You can use any HTTP client library to send the request and receive the data. To send a GET request to the game state integration, GSI, URL, you can use a programming language or a tool that supports HTTP requests, such as curl or postman. Here is an example using curl, curl x get HTTP slash slash localhost 3000 slash xco slash game state underscore integration underscore status h except application slash json in this example, we are sending a get request to the URL HTTP slash slash localhost 3000 slash xco slash game state underscore integration underscore status and specifying the HTTP header except application slash json. You will need to replace localhost 3000 with the actual IP address or host name and port where the GSI server is running. Additionally, GameState underscore integration underscore status is the name of the GSI configuration file that is used to define the data that will be sent. The response from the server will be in JSON format, containing the current status of the GSI integration. Note that the specific details of how to send a GET request to a GSI URL will depend on the programming language or tool you are using, as well as the specific configuration of the GSI server. 4. Parse the JSON response, the data you receive from the game will be in JSON format. You can parse the JSON response using any JSON parsing library and extract the data you need. To parse the JSON response from the CSGO game state integration, GSI, URL, you can use a programming language that supports JSON parsing, such as Python, JavaScript, or Ruby. Here is an example using Python, import requests import JSON response equals request.get, http slash slash localhost 3000 slash xco slash game state underscore integration underscore status. JSON underscore data equals JSON dot loads, response dot text. Print, JSON underscore data, in this example, we are using the requests library to send a GET request to the GSI URL HTTP slash slash localhost 3000 slash xco slash game state underscore integration underscore status, and then we are using the JSON library to parse the JSON response. The parse JSON data is stored in the JSON underscore data variable and can be used in your Python program. Note that the specific details of how to parse a JSON response will depend on the programming language and libraries you are using, as well as the specific structure of the JSON data returned by the GSI server. Using GSI, you can create applications that provide real-time information about the game, such as live scoreboards, player statistics, and inventory trackers. However, note that GSI is intended for developers, and requires programming knowledge to use. Here are some more examples of how game state integration, GSI, can be used in Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, Live Scoreboards. GSI can be used to create live scoreboards that show real-time information about the game, including the score, round time, and player statistics. This can be useful for tournaments or events where spectators want to see the action as it happens. Inventory trackers, GSI can be used to create inventory trackers that show players equipment and weapons in real time. This can be useful for players who want to keep track of their teammates equipment, or for broadcasters who want to show viewers what weapons players are using. 
Match tracking, GSI can be used to track matches and create statistics based on the data collected. For example, you could use GSI to track the number of kills and deaths for each player in a match, and use that data to generate heat maps and other visualizations. Cheat detection, GSI can be used to detect cheats and hacks in the game. By analyzing the data from GSI, developers can identify players who are using aimbits, wall hacks, or other cheats, and take action to prevent them from ruining the game for others. Team management, GSI can be used by coaches and team managers to track their players' performance and make data-driven decisions. For example, a coach could use GSI to track a player's accuracy and adjust their training regimen accordingly. These are just a few examples of how GSI can be used in CSGO. With a little creativity, developers can use GSI to create a wide variety of useful applications and tools. Here are some on Counter-Strike, Global Offensive Game State Integration, GSI Valve Developer Community, the Valve Developer Community, VDC, is the official wiki for Valve games, including CSGO. The VDC provides detailed documentation on GSI, including how to set it up, the available data types, and examples of how to use it. Steam Community, the Steam Community is a great resource for CSGO players and developers. You can find discussions on GSI, tips, and tricks, and news related to the game. There are also dedicated CSGO development groups, such as the CSGO development group, where you can connect with other developers and share information. GitHub, there are many open source CSGO projects on GitHub that use GSI, including live scoreboards, match trackers, and player statistics tools. You can browse these projects to learn how to use GSI in your own applications. CSGO subreddit, the r slash global offensive subreddit is a popular community for CSGO players and developers. You can find discussions on GSI, as well as other development related topics, such as mapping and modding. When looking for information on GSI, it's important to make sure that the source is reputable and reliable. By using these sources, you can find accurate information and advice on how to use GSI in your CSGO applications.